Hello friends, do you know what day it is today? Let's figure it out together. Can you look on the board and see where the last shape is that we drew in our pattern? That will help us to figure out what yesterday was. And once we know what yesterday was, then we can determine what today is. So what is your best guess? What's the last pattern in our, last shape in our pattern? Did you guess red heart? Red heart was the last shape in our pattern. And it was Monday, February 15th. 2021. So if yesterday was the red heart and the 15th, we're going to move one square over because we always go left to right. And this is going to be today. And to help us to remember that this is today while we're working on our calendar, we're going to put the next shape in our pattern here. Do you know what that will be? What's your best guess? Let's check if you're correct. Let's go back to the beginning and do the pattern together. Are you ready? Heart, blue rhombus, 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 heart, blue rhombus. Did you guess blue rhombus or did you say blue diamond? That's that fun shape that's got more than one name. You can practice on your paper with me or you can do it up in the air. Start at the top and go to the left down on an angle then go towards the right down on an angle to the bottom, then up to the right on an angle, and then up to the left on another angle. And then we can just color it in. And this shape can be called a diamond or a rhombus. Most people will call it a diamond. So we are saying rhombus in our pattern so that we can remember, we'll practice and remember that it is also called a rhombus. So let's go up the top of our column to see what today is. And today is Tuesday. T, T sounds like t, 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 t for like toy or taco. Do you ever have Taco Tuesdays? So capital T, because it's the name of our day. T U E S D A Y. And look at all these names. How many names do we have? Let's count together and see if you're correct. Are you ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There are seven days in the week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Good job. I love it when you say that with me. So today is Tuesday and we're going to put it into our sentence. And our sentence begins with two words. Today is. And today is capitalized because it is the first word in our sentence. And we always capitalize the first word in our sentence. So today is Tuesday. So we're going to put a capital T, so an uppercase T, U, E, S, D, A, Y. And then I'm going to put a comma here. And that comma tells us to pause before we say our next word. And our next word is going to be the month. Do you remember how many months there are in the year? I hear some great guesses. Let's count together. It's okay if you don't remember all your numbers, we'll practice together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Good job. Now let's say all of the names. January, February, March, and April, May, June, July. August, September, October, November, December. Good job. And do you remember which one of those months we are in? It's the second one. Do you see the second one in the row? It was January before, and now we're in February. And it goes at the top of our calendar. And we spell February starting with a capital F, because it's the name of the month. And F says f, f, f like fun or furry, fabulous. So capital F E B R U A R Y Feb Ru Ari February. Let's put that into our sentence. Today is Tuesday, comma February with a capital F because it's the name of our month. E B R U A R Y. And next we want to put in the number. And do you know what the number will be for today? What was the number yesterday? Yesterday was 15. What comes after 15 when we're counting? That's what the number for today is. Well, let's go back to the beginning and count together and see if you're correct. Are you ready? 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Good job. Did you guess 16? You can practice on your paper with me or you can do it up in the air with your finger. Let's start up at the top. It has two digits and the first digit is a one. So start at the top and we'll make a line down. And then we're gonna go back up to the top for the second digit over here and we're gonna kind of come down on a curve and then make a loop like a circle. A six, a one and a six make 16. And when we say it in the calendar, we say 16th. Can you say th at the end? When we count, we say 16, but in the calendar, it's 16th. So let's count backwards before we put it into our sentence. Are you ready? 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, blast off. Good job. So let's put 16 in our sentence. Today is Tuesday, comma, February 16th. So we're going to put a 1 and a 6. And then a comma before we put in the year. And the year is 2021. Two, zero, two, one. And then a period. And that period tells us to stop. That's the end of the sentence. We don't need to say any more. Will you say the sentence with me? Let's try. Today is Tuesday, February 16th, 2021. Good job. Thank you for saying that with me. Did you look outside your window today before we started to see what the weather was like? What is it like where you live? Do you have a favorite kind of weather? What about sunny? Is it sunny where you are? Is it nice and warm? Or maybe it's nice and sunny, but it's still cold. That's what it's like here. Sunny, but there's also something else going on in the sky. Do you have clouds with some rain coming down? No rain here. We do have some sun shining, cloudy. Well, we have clouds, but we also have sun shining, so it's not just cloudy. What about you? Snowing, is it snowing where you are? No snow here. It's partly cloudy, partly sunny. So we'll put that on our board. And will you help me put it in our weather chart? I need to find partly sunny, partly cloudy on the weather chart. So our first one is a sun, so that's sunny. And it is sunny, but it's not just sunny, there's clouds in the sky, so let's find one with both. Cloudy? Whoa, we need to have a sun with it, so it's not that one. Raining? Nope. Snowing? Nope. Here's one with the sun and a cloud, so let's put our tally mark in there. Let's see what's already here. We've got a couple of slashes, there's one, two, three, four, and then a slash through there that's five. So when we see our tally marks in a group like this, that means five. And then plus one. So we already have one, two, three, four, five, six. And now we're gonna put one more. So you can do your tally mark with me. Put your pen on your paper or you can put your finger to the sky. Start up with the top and straight down. So we had six, now we're adding one more. So six plus one, what is that? Let's see, let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven cloudy, partly cloudy, partly sunny days. So next we're going to do our agenda. Do you have an agenda down with you today? If not, you can do it on a piece of paper or you can just say it with me as we go along. So I've got my name here with an apostrophe S so that everybody knows this belongs to me. If you put an apostrophe S at the end of your name, that means that it belongs to you. So it's Celine's, an apostrophe S. We'll open it up to today. Yesterday, I was going to do some laundry and I did do that. So I've checked that off and I'm gonna to put today's date so I can practice my printing. Capital T, because it's the name of the day. U-E-S-D-A-Y. And then a comma and February, capital F, E, B, R, U, A, R, Y. Are you following along on your own paper? or are you saying it out loud with me? It's Tuesday, February 16th. So we're gonna put a one and a six and then a comma and I ran out of space. So I'm gonna go down and come back to the beginning and put two, zero, two, one, 2021. And then I'm going to practice all of my letters up to 16 so that I can practice and get really good at all my numbers. Are you ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Good job. And so I'm going to put a sun and a cloud. We can record our weather and then I'm going to draw a truck because today I'm going to donate some of my clothes. So yesterday I did laundry and while I was doing the laundry I found some clothes that were too small and some that I didn't really enjoy wearing anymore and I'm going to give those to some people that can really appreciate them. So I'm just going to draw a vehicle. What kind of vehicle do you have? Maybe you don't have a vehicle and you take a bus. Buses are fun to ride in. Some people have cars, some people have trucks, some people have vans or SUVs. Some people have motorcycles or a pedal bike. There's all kinds of different ways of transportation. And we have a truck, which is handy when you have lots of things to take somewhere. Sometimes cars don't have enough space, but a truck has enough space to put lots of things in the back. So I'll just color in my wheels there. Do you have a favorite kind of vehicle? Sometimes even a, maybe a toy vehicle that you play with? There are some boxes there that we'll take to the community centers for some people to have some new clothes, some new to them clothes. So I'm just going to put my name down here at the bottom because I wanna practice printing my name every day so I get really good at it. So capital C, E L Y N N E. So if you practice every day, you'll get really good at your letters and numbers and your printing of your words. If you don't know how to print all your words or all your letters, you can just start by practicing making some letters. So today we're doing the letter R and you can practice with me on your paper or you can do it with your finger in the air. Are you ready? Start up at the top and strike down. There's one line. Go back to the top of the line and make a bump out like that. And then when your bump hits the line here, you come back down with another line. Let's do that one more time. Go up to the top and strike it down. Then do your bump out and then down. That is a big R or an uppercase R. And then this is, this is the lowercase R. So you're going half as high as the big R and strike it down. Then come almost to the top and do an arch out of it. Let's do it one more time. Go to the top and strike it down. Then come almost all the way to the top and make an arch out. Good job. If you practice doing your letters every day, pretty soon you'll be really good at it and you can print any words that you would like. Now yesterday I was pretty happy. I was just kind of calm and relaxed and enjoying the day. Let's see what other emotions we have today. How are you feeling? Are you feeling the same as yesterday or different? Sometimes we can feel the same for a couple of days. So. This was my happy face, I'm just okay, having a good time, nothing to complain about, just enjoying things. What about sad? Are you sad today? I'm not feeling very sad today, I think I'm okay. What about excited? Are you excited? Jolly, laughing, happy, mischievous maybe, are you having some fun? What about grouchy, angry, disappointed? Those are all okay emotions to have too. Or what about shy or anxious? Are you shy or anxious today? I think I'm just happy. I've had two days of being just happy and that's okay because we can have the same emotions more than one day in a row. So I hope you find something kind to do today. If you have some clothes that don't fit you anymore, maybe you can donate them or you can find something else that's really nice to do today. I hope you have a great day and we'll see you again tomorrow. Bye-bye friends. Click the like button and select subscribe so you don't miss out on our future videos.